Hi, this is Jessica Moore, a local realtor in Fredericksburg, Virginia. And today we are going to be talking about your five first steps to selling your home. The very first step is going to probably be a no brainer, but it's going to be finding and interviewing real estate agents. Now, why do I say you should find multiple and interview? The most important thing is you're going to want to find somebody who you not only mesh with professionally, but also that you can connect with because this can be a long process and there's a lot of emotion involved and you want to make sure that there's a professional on the other side of the transaction who is going to have your best interest at heart. We should all be out here trying to earn your business. So it's really important that you take the time to find the right fit. There are literally thousands of licensed agents just in the Fredericksburg Association area. So you're going to definitely have lots of people to choose from. The second step is working with the agent of choice to do your paperwork. I know this is kind of the boring part, but it's also extremely important. So in Virginia, we work under an exclusive right to list. So what this talks about is it goes through and it details out your home, your contact information, and talks about all the responsibilities that we have to you as your real estate agency. Now, a lot of it is very standardized language, but we are also are putting in very specific information about your home, such as your utilities, things that are conveying with the home, like is your washer and dryer gonna stay or are you gonna take it with you? All those little things we have an opportunity to discuss. So it's extremely important that we get the paperwork nailed down. From there, all parties are going to sign and then we'll be ratified. Once ratification is complete, we can start doing what's called coming soon marketing. Now again, not all agents utilize coming soon marketing. So that's something that you should be aware of and you should be asking about when you're doing your interviews. I love coming soon marketing. It gives you an opportunity to get your house ready. It allows me to market your property as coming soon. And because of MLS regulations, we are not allowed to show your property during this time. So it's the best of both worlds. It's really important that we get that time to get a lot of hype up around your property because as the market normalizes back out, after all the excitement for the last couple years, the marketing element to selling your home is going to be extremely important. I know for the last few years, it's felt like all you had to do was mention your house was for sale and it would fly off the market, but that is starting to change. So having a professional who also has a very strong marketing game is going to be extraordinarily important. The next thing is you're going to want to prepare your home for sale. Your realtor is going to walk through your home with you and make sure that you are, make sure to give you a list of all the things that you need to do. So maybe that's touching it paint or refreshing some carpet. I guarantee you it's going to include decluttering and depersonalizing your space. But when we have a chance to work together, I will make sure to go through. We're going to go through once to make sure that all these items get taken care of. And then once we're able to see the space more clearly, we'll have a staging consult as well to make sure that all of your existing items that are left in the home are staged appropriately to maximize space walk through and just overall flow. The next item is going live on the MLS. This is the big exciting part. We are now going to move into the next stages of selling your home, where we're going to be discussing showings, reviewing contracts, and just all of the things that come after you accept a contract. But that's definitely a video for another day. So I hope you enjoyed learning about these five first steps you need to take in selling your home. If you have questions, of course, reach out to me at any time or drop a comment below and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. And make sure to subscribe so you continue to get all these helpful tips and tricks and tune in next week. I'll see you there.